Hi guys, we're back with this bulldog, and it's it's got a very interesting gait, and I don't think people look at that enough. I mean, if you're training dogs, you're, is it trotting? Is it running? Is it what is it doing? <laughs> and I think do think you want to develop this short lope, which they have in horses, which is a controlled way to cover ground quickly, and it's. A learned behavior, I think. Yeah. It is a very valuable. I just, I remember one time I got this horse from Brenda. It was one of these auction horses. It was $300. And I sent it to, yay, to Ted Sokol, the cutting horse trainer. And they put a short lope on it. If you said that was, a, I mean, that's what I remember. And then I could short lope it around. And then I had to give the horse back to Brenda, as I did with every horse I got from Brenda. And... I took it over to her house somehow, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 she came and picked it up, and then I followed her to her house and got out to show her what it would do. And when she saw it short loping, she said, oh, I like that. <laughs> I never forgot that, yeah. And the horse, she's seen a bunch of horses, but yeah, so she saw that short lope. Oh, hi, Linnea. Yeah, exactly, girl. Yeah, my, this guy's advice to people ought to be, yeah, yeah, you might want to get some chicken if that's how she's getting these results. He's such a douchebag. Oh, he really is. Please get on there and like that video. He's very aggressive. I call him Van Curing. I'm not going to, you know, that's even more distancing myself. I had a good relationship. I said I always hated you because you just don't get it about the dogs. Just from the beginning, you just always wanted to make the collar hotter, hotter, hotter. I kind of figured out other people were telling him to do that, so he was saying, oh, okay. I was telling him to do the pager, so he's going, oh, okay. You know, he's just, he's what they, around here, they call a do-boy. Yeah, something called a do-boy. He's going to do-boy, anybody, anybody says, he's just a do-boy. He's not a real man. Look at him, he's going to sidle up to this footstool. Oh, hi, Sharon. He's going to sidle up to this footstool. Yeah. Oh, that chicken she uses. Yeah, well, here's an idea. Why don't you shove this chicken up your ass, buddy? <laughs> I, you know, these people claim I have a bad personality. Well, yeah, if you're a charlatan, I guess that would be your perception. <laughs> so if you think I have a bad personality, you may be a charlatan. Okay, hang on. So everything I'm doing, he's watching everything I'm doing. I think that's what you got to say though. If you're doing your turn right, you can see the head and the tail at the same time. Watch. Watch. He's the world's trilliest bulldog. Oh, he could do commercials, anything. Oh, if you said any kind of treats. Oh, this dog loves them. Yeah. Chunko. Oh, hi, Tavito. Oh, yeah, he's a little Chunko. He's a little Chunko Monko. Look at him. But he's always, he says to himself, these rewards are very behavior specific, and I'm in control. The faster I do it, the faster it's, and if you don't do it that way, they're not going to do it fast. If you just somebody tells you to go fast, I want you to think of it this way. If you want to get somewhere fast, you're going there as fast as you can go. If someone tells you to go fast and tells you to hurry up for no good reason, <laughs> you may take your time. It's gonna be a completely different mindset than I wanna get somewhere fast and nothing's gonna stop me. You know, you have to rush your pet into the bed or something. I've been there many times. Going there as fast as I can. Goddamn how am I hitting every red light? This is unbelievable. Even 
right here, though. My body language, I'm, I, my upper body's going back. He doesn't just get up there, you notice that, Mike. He always throws in the twirl. I like that move, though, too, though, Mike. I already stepped away. I, I was just using the turn as a, more of my skate plans. Watch. Oh, I'm like trying to get away. Oh, more of my sneaking. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Oh, hi, Kimberly Ann. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's a little butter bun. Look at all his little butter wrinkles. Oh, his little muffin tops. Oh, he's got a dozen little muffin tops. Look at him, bro. Oh, all his little muffin tops. All right, let me go get his keys. He didn't do his keys yesterday, so he did his dumbbells, but he can do his keys today. Oh, how he loves his keys. All right, let me go get his keys. Anyway, so he can walk bending his neck. If you said, what's so amazing about that? He doesn't have a neck. <laughs> yeah, here, Kimberly Ann, look. I'll show you. He can walk bending his neck. If you said, so what? What's so amazing about that? He doesn't have a neck. <laughs> he doesn't have one. Dozen little muffin tops on his bum. Look at his little bum. Right here, girl, I'll bring you on camera. Kimberly Ann's like, What? I just got up. <laughs> Again, he might hear you. He'll see you. He'll know you there are other people in the corner. <laughs> uh, okay, let me let him get his keys. Oh, he gets all his own stuff. Yes, there's his now. In case you're not, I'm just I'm not going in there. He's now my butler. I think, I mean, time. But you can see how the dog turned out. Okay, so we got all our supplies that we're going to need later. We're going out later. We need the van. We're going out. And we're going to buy things for you. Yes, I've got a budget of $300 to buy all of your needs. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, he gets all of them at once. Oh, he's absolutely awful. Oh, you could hurt someone. You tried to grab like five things at once. Now they're all over the ground now. If only he gets them. Oh, he's so stylish. Sure, I wouldn't recommend a fragile key ring, but, you know, they usually make them pretty durable. 
And we've got your leash. There's leash laws. <laughs> I know. Damn these leash laws. All right, listen. I got to have my driver's license, though. If, if we get pulled over, you, you've lost yours. I've got to have mine. It's got to be somewhere. Please, I'm begging you to find it. Please. Begging. Be careful. Okay, if you said what happened, I, I hope you're there, Mike. He saw that driver's license on the way back. I saw him see it. I saw him see it. He saw it. And if you said why, it, I think it's the one that's white. He saw it again, though. Oh, he's my precious angel. All right, but this is not going to work. We can't drive without the actual license. I, I know you saw it on the ground over there. I don't want you pulling one of your stunts. We pretend like you didn't see it. Uh-huh. So that's pretty obvious that he saw whatever else was up there. He was going to switch it out. I think he was going to switch it out until I started saying yay, don't you? It seemed like he's going to set that one thing up there and get the other thing. So I can say with fairly good surety that he's going to go back for whatever that is. I can only barely see it. There, that almost always, I think it's normal for them to just get the same thing again. Why wouldn't they? It, it, that's to them, that's the bird in the hand. That's the two in the bush. You got to make that the bird in the hand. Anyway, he's doing awesome. But he needs a treadmill, though, doesn't he? Oh, hi, Bashrat. I get him. Sure, he's packed on a few pounds. You know, he's, he's got to sleep more than he used to, thank God. That's all he does is sleep. Oh, he doesn't like to go out. No, it's raining. He said, what about if it's raining? Oh, no, he's not going out if it's raining. And not if I don't go with him. Uh-oh, I get him, I get him. I get him. He said, what's something over there? So he'll just push the thing out of the way. That's what that one did yesterday. Watch him. I'll just probably push it right out of the way. He's very polarized to the handler, though. And he is. He's a big chicken liver. And I said that when he first came. I mean, he did have extreme dog aggression, but a lot of it was fear-based. It was kind of like, I'm going to get you before you get me. He was kind of like... But in reality... Oh, he could learn all kind of tricks, Kimberly Ann. Oh, he could be in the movies, all of it. Oh, we'd have to get a body double for a few of the shots, sure. A slimmer, trimmer, stunt double. You know, for the real action scenes. We could do it, though. We could find one. We could paint him. All right, let me see if I can get him going backward.
you look at Kimberly and I hope you just do it. I want you to watch him back up. He's got, he, I call him like a slinky butt. Because the little wrinkles are like a slinky. Watch. His little wrinkles when he's backing up. And I, my, know if you are still doing the backing up, but you can. Watch him. I hope you can see him giving an angle. He's like a slinky butt. So I'm just kind of clicking the pager. He's got to go rest now. Oh, that was just too much. That was all I could do. That's all his energy level is going. Time for a long nap. If you said until when? Till lunchtime. If you said then what? Well, then another long nap. If you said when? Until dinner time. If you said then what? Well, time to turn in for the night. <laughs> That's pretty much his life. It's a little evening stroll and then time to turn in for the night.